Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another lesson. Now in this video we're going to be going into a little bit more depth into last week's video which was a time lapse um, and we're going to join this after the block-in. So um, sit yourselves down, make yourself a cup of tea and enjoy. One more thing that I forgot to mention, um, the panel in this video and the brushes are all available now on my website. So we have 16 sixteenths, we have 12 by 12s, and we have 12 by 16 inch panels. They, by the way, are two sided, so you can paint on both sides if need be. We also have our brush set. So a professional brush set, we have top up sets, buy all of the brushes individually online if you prefer, but they're all available from the website. Okay, so we have our blocking layer now is completely dry. Uh, what we need to start doing is building up on this area of foliage in the trees here. Um, we want to do that in the most economical way possible. What we don't want to be doing is painting every single individual leaf because the ones at the front perhaps aren't so bad, but certainly those ones in the background are so small, they're so fine that it would take us forever. It's possible, but it would take us an awful long time. So we are going to try and do that more. To begin with, on mass, we're gonna fill out this area a little bit, gradually start to cover over some of the sky with the foliage, then we'll go in with branches, and then we'll come back and we'll add some of the highlights and possibly the low lights as well. Um, but this is the area we're gonna be working on at the moment. Now, all I'm doing is using the very corner of the brush. So we're just using this part here. You can see I've only filled that area of brush up really. Um, <clears throat> now there's no thinner, there's no medium with this. We are just picking a little bit up. I'm not l really loading the brush up. Now if I wanted to load the tip of the brush up, I would push against the hairs on the brush so I'm pushing almost in as you would imagine in the wrong direction and what that does is it loads the paint on the brush so we've now got thick areas thick clumps on well that's well that's fine when we we're going to put the highlights on but we don't need that we don't need that much paint on the brush so what I'm going to do is draw the brush backwards so we're still getting paint on it new paint but it's not so thick and then just using the corner, I'm not pushing hard, I'm just touching, barely touching it at all. And what that's giving us is the appearance of lots and lots of tiny leaves. So I said just a minute ago we didn't want to paint each individual leaf. And that is true, but we want to give the impression that we're doing that. So don't forget what we're doing is the distant, the distant branches and, and uh, trees first of all. The trees that are in the foreground, leaves need to be put on a little bit differently. They are uh, just generally bigger because they're closer. It's less, uh, less fine brushwork is needed. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're getting there now with the uh, trees here. I think one of the things I'm going to do next is put in the finer little trunks and branches that we can see on those background trees. Now I know it's not going to be easy to determine which are the ones at the back and which are the ones at the front, but it really doesn't matter too much. There's not a huge colour change between the majority of those background trees and the foreground trees, and in particular sort of on the lower areas as we move up into the sky here. We tend to get more of those trunks and branches of more of a blue to purple colour. Um, we'll put those in as well. But before we start on that, I'm just going to darken this level of the ground here. I'm going to do that with the Tree and Texture Series 3. Okay, <clears throat> right, so let's now start putting in some of these branches. Now, we are going to use the rigger brush, the series one for the finer ones, the series one size zero. And I'm just going, I mean, there seems to be this tree here has some quite a few lighter branches coming off. So just using the very tip of that brush. And as we said, you've probably heard me say, in the past we're looking for that ink consistency so it's quite quite runny really and then just slowly start to build up on those twigs and branches that we can see here So what I think I'm going to start doing now is adding some of the leaf highlights in there or just in general some I mean there's obviously there's quite a lot of highlights within that but there's also li low lights over the top of those highlights. Um, I'm going to start putting some of those in and then we're going to go back in with some other branches that are going to go over the top. So let's start first of all in this area here. Now we can go back to our series 4 size 1 as before it's a similar technique but now we're going to be picking a little bit more up on the brush so we're pushing against now to load up some of that paint Okay, so that'll do for the time being. Now I'm going to start working on the actual tree trunks themselves. Starting from the left and we'll work our way across to the right. So I think now I'm going to move over to the Series 1 size 2, so it's just a little bit bigger. It's going to allow me to get this area done a bit quicker. Now the, in or the important thing is that we're not too light here. So let's just do a little bit and see where we are. I would say that's not far off, I think it's slightly too light, so I'm just going to add a little ivory black. And of course as we go further down anyway, it does get darker.
So I'm putting on probably a, well, it is a thicker coat than than uh, the one I've I put on previously. Warming it slightly. And all of these ones that are in the foreground, I'm going to just get put a nice, fairly thick, flat colour on there. And then we can go ahead and add some of the details afterwards. So now I'm going to start adding some of those larger leaves. So we already have an area up here blocked in. I'm going to just darken that slightly. And I'm just going to do that with a Series 7 size 8. Um, I'm going to go in with more of a neat colour here. Um, so I'm not going to make it opaque at all. I just I want it to be have a certain amount of transparency to it. Okay, so to finish these trees off now, we're going to put in some of those lighter tones over the top of this dark. Also, these lighter areas are much nearer to the foreground, so they could be a little bit bigger, and we're going to use uh, a rigger brush again. So the paint has been thinned ever so slightly, and that's going to allow us to get a nice sharp edge. And we're just going to go over now this whole area, putting in those final touches. Also with these uh, trees, or sorry, the leaves that are nearer to the foreground, um, unlike the background, we're now starting to paint each leaf individually. So from this point on, it shouldn't take too long. Mm -hmm. 